Good day. We're currently at Outback Steakhouse and we're getting ready to order. So guys, we are on our way to a really cool place today. We're headed today to Laurel's House of Horror in Laurel, Maryland. And they're gonna give us some behind the scenes. They're gonna make us all up in some awesome makeup. And this place is actually haunted. So we're also gonna do a little paranormal investigation for you guys. We know you've been waiting for it. And today, you're gonna get it. We are out back in before our adventure because we're all hungry and we have a little drive. Let's go. All right, guys, we just got here to Laurel's House of Horrors. This is Tree right here. Hello. He is giving <laughs> us the grand tour. This place is awesome. And we just got here. So what we're about to walk into, this is hotel. This is the beginning. All right. Be careful the noises. <laughs> so, I told you. <laughs> I know. He wasn't, he wasn't playing. Watch the step. Oh my god. That's my least favorite noise. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it gets like that. I'll say. Ooh, sorry. That's okay. You're good. Wow, that one's scary. This looks like uh, Bates Motel or something. Yeah. Wow. Do you want to take a bath? Some of our props came from, uh, uh, you ever heard of uh, Forest Haven? Forest Haven. Yeah, it's like an abandoned it's a, a asylum building. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's probably got some stuff attached to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. More luggage rack. This is, I call him a street gun Cali because he sounds like Yeah, he does. Stop it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now we, now we 
phenomenal stuff. Half of these bottles we drunk, so. <laughs>
just sitting in some of the old movie chairs outside of where you enter the attraction. So this place is actually haunted. Plenty of the scare actors have had stories of crazy things that have happened to them. So what did I do? I brought my K2 meter and we are already getting some spikes on the K2 meter, but I thought if we came out here a little bit, it's a little more quiet. So that way you guys can hear me. I'm gonna see what I can do guys. I wanna see if anyone wants to communicate with us today. Let's do it. All right, so. Currently, we just got one lit up green. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate with us? Got Raptor Mom over here. She's holding my light for me. Go ahead and touch the K2 meter if you want to communicate with us. We've heard lots of stories that there are plenty of spirits that occupy this abandoned movie theater. Please touch the K2 meter. It's pretty crazy. Touch the K2 meter if you like all the fun scares. I saw somebody just touched it. Thank you for doing that. I know sometimes there's a little, ah, did you see Whoa, that? Oh, yes I did. Wow. Do you enjoy scaring the crap out of people? Because I can see how that would be a lot of fun. Go ahead and light it up for me if you love watching people have fun and get scared. Lots of people are going to see this, so definitely you still have a chance to make your mark on the world. Let people know how you feel about this amazing place because we love it. Matter of fact, we're so scared, we aren't going to go back through when it's completely dark. Like this place is on a whole new level. I've never experienced uh, terror like I did at this place and we walked through with the lights on. It was, it was dimly lit in some areas, but let me tell you what guys. The scares are literally next level, right? The air, the noise, the music. It's the sounds for me. The okay? downhill, uphill. Yeah, you kind of get disoriented a little bit. I can't imagine in the dark. Like, I just, I can't. Right. Come on, light it up for us, spirits. Maybe we light should take them down where Lisa is. Let's do that. Let's go down where Lisa is. Lisa has the necrophonics, so we're gonna keep this on as we go down there. And we're gonna turn on the necrophonic and see if any of you guys actually want to speak with us. So let's do that. So guys, we are chilling out in some other movie theater seats. The ambient lighting is everything right now. I'm gonna turn the K2 meter back on. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, immediately. If you want to hang out with us, come touch the K2 meter. Oh wow, thank you. Hello. What is going on right now? Go ahead and touch it and light it up all the way to red. I don't think Lisa saw it. Go ahead and touch that K2 meter for me. And then we're going to turn on the necrophonic so we can talk to you. There it is. There it is. All right, we're gonna turn on the necrophonic, but we're gonna to have to hold it really close to the camera so you guys can hear it. And we'll keep this lit up too. Oh, there it goes again, look at this. Wow. Thank you for talking to us, we yeah. appreciate it. This is an amazing home that you have here. This place is outstanding. And we had the crap scared out of us. I was doing the white pants challenge and I think I escaped without messing my pants, but I'm not going to do it in the dark today, right? I don't know. I should. <laughs> yeah, you can. I can't even imagine. You can. Right now I'm having a lot of problems with my ankles, so uh, there's a lot of like slopes and it's kind of like, it, it's a movie theater, so it has like the slopes. The slopes remain, guys. You go down and you come back up. It's crazy, but a lot of turns and twists and um it, it would be very difficult for me to navigate in the dark as well as lisa her knees are bad my ankles are bad right now so yeah but i'm glad we got the lights on tour because that was doable it was so much fun our tour guide tree was amazing shout out to you tree thank you for the amazing tour that you gave us um 
So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the necrophonic. Can you hold it really close to the camera? Um, so... Who's with us today? That's, that's good. Hold it back a little bit. Right there. You wanna to talk to us today? Yeah. Yeah? What, what's your name? I'm not gonna try to guess. Yeah. I, I, we'll have to do the replay, and I'll, I'll maybe put some, a couple subtitles. I don't really like to do that much. I like to let you guys see what you hear. We're just gonna listen for a minute. Do you guys like what they did with this theater? Raptor Mom is going to assist me by holding the K2 meter. I don't know, it's really up. I mean, that adds to, you said yeah. I definitely heard that. It, it definitely adds to the scares because I read that loud noises disorient people, so definitely disorienting. The burst of air. Go ahead and tell us whatever you want to share with our viewers, and we will listen to the playback. Oh, look, we've been lit up here. Look at that K2 meter. Ooh, I see some red and yellow. Go ahead and light it all the way up for us. All the way to red, please. Bring your friends. As long as y'all stay here, it's all good. Yeah, you can't come home with us. Is there a red light? Go ahead and light all the way up to red for me, please. There it is. Nope, there it is. Whoop. What's this? What's this? Uh, this is our I was going Jack Skellington on him with the what's this. You know, I never even knew he said that until after I started saying it. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a song. We did hear two girls say, do you not want to go in the bathroom alone? We did hear that. Yeah. Yes. Always have to go in a pool. We heard that spooky things happen if you go to the bathroom by yourself. Oh, we should want to go oh. test that out. Whoa. So Lisa is getting ready to get some makeup done. 